Okay, right, so... Go over there a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I want to make sure at least the spotlight's on you. Yeah, good. So, we're good? Good. You ready? Ready. Okay. Hello there, the name is Limbo Larry Jr. And I am here with, I believe, a freaking amazing rising artist, and, <laughs> rising artist and already did like an after set, and doing an after interview here after his set, which is Kovex, and I cannot be any more proud of the work he is putting and the stuff he is doing. I mean, hello. Supporting Big Gigantic. And let me just say this right here right now. Second time in the Bride 52 album. Absolutely freaking amazing. And I, and this man here, I mean, he already like was making waves with his recent debut album, which is A Change to Perspective, but it's so much more than just that. And I feel like we're gonna learn more about him right now. So I have to ask one question here. Come on. I have to ask one question here. What made you start this journey of Kovix? What what really inspired it? Um, well, I started making music when I was really young, like 13, 14. I started making like dubstep, like really heavy stuff. Um, I did that for a few years. I made this genre called Neuro, which is like Noisia. You know Noisia? I know Noisia, but yeah. this is a genre called Neuro. Neuro. Neuro like, step. Neuro step. I, I, I was, was I was thinking like neuro funk as well. Neuro funk, yeah. That, that that was, that, that that's that's why I'm more familiar with neuro funk. Yeah. I heard that before, but that's exactly. what you were trying to get into in, in the past. Yep. When I was like 14 to 18, I was making like really really heavy music, um, and when I was like 18 or 19, I just kind of got like a little bored of it. I guess. I thought and, bored uh, of it. <laughs> you know, I like I was I was tired of spending like. 10 plus hours on one sound, and I was like, all right, I'm really focused on the melodies. This is why I got into music in the first place, was because of like the emotion I get from music. So I started, you know, getting my hands on piano more and singing more. And um, at like 19, 18, um, I started switching into more melodic stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that was kind of the reason, I guess. Uh, just like, feeding the emotion and like wanting to um, wanting to like pursue some craft that yeah. Understood. That is yeah. amazing. That's that that's amazing to hear. And well I know you say you start like you no know, making like heavy like dubstep music or going to ne into neuro neuro step, neuro funk, but is there, were there any people who like inspire you to want to start making those type of sounds or like going to melodic stuff? Like, who, who are like your big inspirations in music so far? Yeah, that like, inspire right you to want to do this? Right now? Well, uh, I, I would say like what, what, what kickstarted this thing. Okay. Um, gosh. Early on it was probably um, like Porter Robinson, um, Madian. And then like the heavy like neuro days is like Cohen Sound, and um, like of course I listen to Skrillex and um, just like the usuals. Pretty Lights was a big influence, and that's kind of hardly the reason I would switch to melodic stuff. I'd say. So it was um, pretty. I'm seeing name right. Pretty Lights. Pretty Lights. Yeah. Pretty Lights. Yeah. And what was it about them that like made you say, you know what, I want to try the melodic route? What is it about their musicality that? really stuck out to you? Um, I think it's like the emotion, like they still had a lot of heavy sounds in their songs, but they, it evoked certain emotions in me that uh, I didn't really know how to portray until I started switching to more piano based music and like more melodic stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I, mean, I saw them a lot when I was like 18 or 19. I, Open for Elenium, and that was like a huge, huge. Did you open for Elenium, 1819? Yeah. Or you saw them open? No, the, I you, opened for them. You opened for Elenium. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That was 19, 19, I think. Yeah. In About 2019. The, uh, 2015. 2015, you yeah. opened for them. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I saw him rise from like. Nothing. Right. So this. Star, the, yeah. Do you say so? You opened for, for Elenium in 2015, like yes. like pre like pre Ashes, pre all that. Like like we're talking like like so wrong and like that type of EP. It was right when Ashes came out. Right when yeah. Ashes came out. Yeah. 
that, pretty nuts, right? That yeah. is amazing yeah. that, that he already like you know, had you under his belt. Yeah. So it, it only makes me wonder now, like, why, oh, why are you not, like, in, like, his door lineups? I mean, hello, I, I mean, hello, let, let's say, for example, Ember Shores, let me in the friends. Where is this friend on here? Why? I'm sorry, Nick, he, you, you see the passion in him when Ashes came out, I mean, hello, now we have Awake, now we have Ascend, now we have Fallen Embers, and yet you still can't... No, 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 I, I won't accept this, I, will, yeah. I won't take this, man. I will not take this. We have to make sure that Leia puts him back in Ember Shores, I don't care. Trilogy Colorado, I don't care, put him back in the... No, 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 no. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. That, that kind of got me triggered a bit. No, it's not No. Bad. Nick, what are you we'll doing? We'll dial it back. We'll dial it back, yeah. Well, uh, okay. I, I, I hope he sees more of the passion like, in, like, in like the work that you're putting in right now, which we go, we're going to have to tell you. Okay, so if, 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 Nick, this is for you. Let's talk about some of the stuff that you, that you have been doing. I mean, let's start, let's, start, let's start with this. The remixes you've been doing so far. I mean, some of the stuff you've been making has been absolutely freaking incredible remix-wise. I mean, we're talking like, no... We had like home remix with the remix with slow magic. We have all to you, Manila Killer, yeah. and dude. Uh, let me ask this: What was your favorite remix to do? Um, I think the home remix with slow magic. It's it's just so much fun to play live. And I, on this whole tour, I made like a little edit with Odessa's uh, last goodbye. As we have heard, and yeah, I was like, yeah. oh my gosh, that was amazing. Yeah, it's been so much fun to play live. I think that's probably. I sing a I, I and I'm one of those people. That is amazing. Yeah. But now we gotta talk about you know, I gotta talk about it. This album, a change of perspective. Like what is like well let me say access, what was like the purpose of creating a change of perspective? Um, I've always wanted to do an album in my head. Um, I just never really like had the courage to pull the trigger and like actually make it happen mm. until August of 2019, it's like right before COVID, I think. Um, but I like have a voice memo in my phone. I was like camping one night, like I'm gonna make an album. I told myself I'm making an album. This is what's going to happen. Uh, I was like, all right, we're gonna have nine to twelve tracks, and I like voice memoed everything, held myself accountable with this voice memo, and like right after that, I started working on it. I already had like three or four songs that I knew fit together really well, um, but as COVID hit and, like, uh, you know, the world changed, I spent a lot of time, like, indoor, and um, as I know a lot of people experience, like, a lot of really hard times in their life, um, I went through therapy, I went through a lot of emotional changes, uh, some of the hardest decisions in my life, um, and through all these things, made me think in different ways that I didn't think of before, um, which is how I came up with a name, a change of perspective. Um, it just, uh, it was more of like a message to myself more than anything <clears throat> to, uh, to think of things in different ways than I normally do. Because we, we tend to get lost in our thoughts too much and it's important to think of uh, different perspectives in life. Understood. Understood, but I would say, but I would say also maybe adding on to that, I think we get lost in our thoughts, especially when it comes to like negative stuff too. And you see, like there's always negative stuff out there that like is always the thing that people focus on that we that we see ourselves the most. Yeah. But we don't look at the positive side of, of who we are and what, and what we're doing. Yeah. And and I feel like maybe that is again maybe that's my own way interpretation of having a change in perspective. And a person who likes to not look at the bad stuff all the time and just right. look at the good things in life besides besides like thinking like no the bad side of this but no there's some there's some there could be some blessings in, in what you're doing and what you're creating exactly. so i'm happy to know that this album is kind of like a reminder of that and it came out during like it was being built during the pandemic but it was something that hey. was absolutely hey young Franco. it was absolutely amazing to witness and to, and to see you can go you can go it was something too amazing to see and hear, and I'm so happy that like this 
album came out into like after like, you know the I would say like the peak of the pandemic. Yeah. It, it, it kind of came out like it was. It came out like in twenty twenty one, right? Twenty twenty, yeah, like August twenty twenty one. Right, and then, and, and, and I, I feel like that's right. Huh? right. I believe it was twenty twenty one. I feel like last year. Last year, yes. So I feel like it was. It was definitely like a breath of fresh air for all of us, and I'm just so happy that this this was released and, it's, and, it, and it came and it was such a beautiful gem I, I, I remember when this came out I feel like so many people are I started like talking about you so much more I mean if you read the article about you know a change perspective a change perspective it was just it, it, it took off like wildfire and it led to like you know Lux version of a change of perspective and of course uh, who can forget the beautiful twist that the beautiful vocal twist that Gravit put in the song yeah. Regret. How did that come to be? Because I, I'm a simple man. I I, 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 hear, I see Gravit, I click. I see Gravit <laughs> yeah. in there, I listen. It's just it's just mother nature, okay? When there's Gravit, you gotta listen. Whenever you see Nick Chiari, you gotta tune in because he's just that amazing. But what what made him what what how his whole like no this whole vocal twist and regret happened with Gravitz. Yeah, I mean, I've been a fan of him for a really, really long time. I always knew that regret needed a vocal, but I just wasn't ready for it when I put out the album. So, uh, Brett from Moving Castle. Uh, Brett Blackman? Yes, Brett Blackman. With that says, Moving Castle. Me comment too. Yes. I should use this. Yeah. Um, so Brett Blackman again. Brett Blackman. Shout, shout out to Brett Blackman. Yes, Absolutely amazing. Brett question: oh, He's he, not your manager, is he? No, no. I, th I thought, so, I thought, so, I thought, so, I thought. So. But yeah. Brett Blackman, you are absolutely amazing. Thanks so much for all your incredible okay, work in moving castles. So your thing. Um, yeah, he recommended Gravitz, and it just like something switched in my brain. Like the most massive light bulb went off in my head. I was like, obviously that's the one. Um, so. Yeah, after it was the easiest, easiest collab I've ever done in my life. He just sent over the vocals really, really quickly, probably a few weeks after we sent him the track, and um, we worked on it together. He sent some like extra instrumental parts and the vocals, and it was the perfect like vocal for the song. I thought, and, uh, yeah, it just it works super, super well. I and I mean. I feel like again, like I'm, I'm so glad you chose he re recommended Grabbits because I feel like when it comes to Grabbits, you just can't go wrong. He has a way of like bringing such beauty and such like rawness to to, to any instrumental track. So I'm so happy that he was put into this song to give a twist to regret. So I'm so freaking happy for that. Thank you so much, Dixiari, for all your incredible work and for giving that twist to regrets to, to your album. Absolutely freaking. Amazing. Now I have to ask this: if, What might, could be coming up next? Yeah. What is next for Kovex? Yeah, so I have a lot of music in store. Um, working on an EP. Uh, should be coming out pretty soon. But oh I've been, my God! <laughs> I've been playing uh, yeah. one track on this tour it. and it seems to be doing pretty well. So I'm. Uh, what was really it played in the set? Yep. I so, thought so. Yeah. I thought so. I got footage yeah. of that. That was amazing. Thank you. So I, I'm just curious to know, like, are you planning, like, you know, maybe doing a bit of a teaser for it? Maybe, like, you know, show it to, like, you know, your Discord followers and your server? I will once we once we get everything finalized and the label and all this, like, industry BS. But, you know, it's, it takes a while, so. And yeah, if possible, like, for one of those songs on that upcoming EP, can the pe can us... This where we will uh, give, give give our footage to like make a music video for one of them. That would be cool. Because it it, 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 yeah. it was amazing with younger. And I ha had to be yeah, sure. Did to, you see your video? I, I did. I, I yes. made I made I made sure I got the picture that I put. Yes. I, I made sure I, I made sure I put that in a Discord server for Govex because yes. I want to let people people know that like, the people who gave their footage gave their videos to, to younger it, it was put up there in the Brooklyn Rod. So yeah, you guys kinda made it. So yeah. those are all your cameos. <laughs> but this Discord, you just got cameoed yes. in Brooklyn Rod and NYC. And I think th that song was played in like all time all the different set times and places in the in the in the tour you play younger, it was still up there. Yeah. Yep, yep. so well, you guys got you're like no your time in the spotlight because so that's what we saw in the video, in the video for Younger, absolutely freaking amazing.
Thank you so much, Discord. We truly appreciate <laughs> yeah, it. Right? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for that EP. That's going to be amazing. And speaking of younger, I, I got to talk about the song further because the music video and the song is absolutely freaking beautiful. What I got, I, this, that's, this is one song I have to talk about more. What, like, made that song like come into play and like, how was that song made because that was like this that was like one of the single or no i think the only single before the album of the change Protector came out there were four or five singles four or five yeah singles. it was okay. the first single that came out right um, yeah so that song during the pandemic uh i started with percussion just did like this cool little, little rhythm and then the song had a lot of different versions it took a really 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 long time to uh find the perfect version. I think it took like seven or eight months during that year uh, mm. to just really dial it in. That's that's pretty long for me because I, I usually mix stuff in like a month, and like, uh, you know, maybe even four days I'll like pump out a whole song. But um, yeah, that, that took especially long. Um, but I had an instrumental laying around and we were wanting vocals on it. Um, and again, Moving Castle really helped a lot with recommendations and who to, who to feature and again just like the most massive light bulb when moons went off and the, yeah she was the perfect fit for that song um, so I ended up working with uh, my really good friend Lexi Shanley wait um, say Lexi Shanley yes okay, yeah. oh my god <laughs> yeah oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Lexi. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 do you want to tell the, the people why Lexi's kind of a big deal? Why she do? She's just an amazing songwriter, singer, uh, just really well versed in like pop and electronic music. But yeah, she's she's been helping me since uh, I came out with the song "I Won't Run Away," which is like. But uh, yeah, she's amazing to work with. She she's been songwriting a lot of my stuff, which is amazing. She she wrote the lyrics for Younger, and then Moon stepped in and just made it what it was. And, yeah, it was amazing. It's a beautiful process. Yeah. That is amazing. And did did, did, did she work in like other songs and, and change perspective? Like, did she write any other lyrics for it? She wrote Lucky Ones as well. Yeah. Um, oh, of course. And that was it. Well, hey, those like two songs, I feel like Lucky Ones was also a single, right? Yes. Thought so. Yeah. Here it is. So yeah, Lucky Ones and Younger Lexi, we truly, truly, truly appreciate you. Thanks so much for, again, like putting your work in for those songs because it absolutely is amazing hearing it live and hearing it in the album. Thank you so much, Lexi. And I'll end, I'll end this with, with a final question, which is this. Like how you are the support for Big Gigantic for Riley Town 2. Are there any like people, artists out there that if you had, if you were a headliner, if you were a headliner, who would you want to be like representing you in your show? Like who you're open like for me. Yeah, like yeah, your yeah. name in lights, and you get to choose who you want. Who, yeah. Like who would you want to bring? Um, Bards, Align, Eula, uh, Luca. Do you, say, do you say Pluto? Shades, Luca. Oh, Luca, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Shea District. Um, I know I'm missing a few, but yeah, those are the main guys, yeah. Those are the main... Them all out. Yeah. Th those are the main guys, and I feel yeah. like, yeah. Wow. Like, you mentioned five already. I feel that that'll definitely be a beautiful night in the Brooklyn Mirage. Yeah, yeah. If it happened I here. Five people. I, I think I think you might want to write those names down and, and maybe yeah. and maybe like like you said, how you record your voice to like you know say I'm gonna make an album. Yeah. Record your voice says no, I'm gonna have a headline show with these people. It's going to happen. It's yes, going exactly. and, and make it happen. Yes. I feel like you already have your foot in the door with with this incredible show and you being on this amazing tour, your very first tour ever. I can only see greater, bigger, and better thing coming from you. So, Kovex, thank you so much for just blessing us with your music and blessing us you. with your talent. And again, like, again, I, I would say, like, make sure you maybe record a few more missions out there. Like, like I mentioned, you're on the headline show. Yeah. And maybe, I would say, secondly, rekindle that fire with Millennium and make sure he puts you in a freaking lineup for Ember Shores or 
trilogy Colorado because that needs to happen again. I'm not getting over that. Get your phone, record it. Make sure you let them know we're, we're, that's going to happen. Oh that is God. going to happen. I hope so. In I hope so. <laughs> it's going to. Yes. It's, 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 it's a no so. It's a yes. no so. With, with what you're doing so far, what you're creating so far, it's going to happen. It needs to happen. Thank you. We're. I'm, I'm happy it's recording because we're going from that. It needs to happen. Alenium, know this man. Remember the name, Kovix. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you so much. For, and shout out to the Discord people out there for helping out with Kovix and just being behind his by his side and big gigantic. Thanks so much for bringing this guy in and letting him be part of Briar Future 2. I can only imagine bigger things for him and hopefully you can bring him in for Briar Future 3. If it ever does get if it ever does get created one day, I would love to see what's coming up next. So it's a big gigantic this for me truly love you so much and Kovacs, I truly appreciate you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. It was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. I'm Ms. Arn and blessed to finally met you and tell you thanks so much for all your incredible music and tell you personally thank you. Just thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Lynn Blark Jr. signing out, man. Peace. Go.